Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliances. That's right, it's super. I'm your super host because I've got superheroes here in the studio. The studio is packed today. And let me tell you, we had on the president and CEO of Taylor Morrison, only a $4 billion company. And we just had on the president and owner of Bravada Yachts. Ooh, so cool. I love just saying that, Bravada Yachts. And later on, we're going to find out about Cracker Jacks. That's right. It's the amazing amusement park located in Scottsdale, Arizona. And by the way, thank you for the feedback that we have from having the North Face founder on Hap Klopp, who was recently at one of our grand tables at Alliances and is part of the Alliances community. So make sure you go to Alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. It is the only place where entrepreneurs align. All right, I'm so excited about our next hero. First of all, she can run circles around all of us. She is 88 years old, and she holds a world record. So you're wondering, what could that world record be? And how could she run around everyone that I pretty much know? Well, it is because she is the oldest woman to have climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, she could be reached at creatingexcitingfutures.org. Okay, Anne, what in the world would cause you to want to climb one of the tallest mountains and set a world record that takes god-awful who knows how much training to be able to do it and a feat that so many few aren't even able to climb half the mountain? I'm Anne. I'm 88. I'm not done yet. My passion is to take, help in, underserved kids reach their full potential and then give back. And I just wanted to combine my love of hiking with helping those kids. So have you hiked your entire life then? Have you always been involved in hiking? I'm not a professional, but I lived in New Mexico at 7,000 feet, did a lot of climbing when I was young, just for fun. So tell me in detail why uh, about creating excitingfutures.org and what motivated you to go ahead and climb this mountain? My family has been into philanthropy for about three generations, and I really wanted to help kids because I know that the younger ones sometimes, uh, the disadvantaged ones, don't know what their options are. So I'm going to show them their options, give them the tools to do whatever they want to do, live exciting lives, and then give back. So you're doing this to raise money for orphans, for children that are homeless and that, correct? And foster children as well. Those are the three I focus on. And why did you pick that particular area? Well, I think it some, has something to do with your own life. For a while, we were homeless when I was a child. We traveled around in a trailer and a truck with just a canvas on top like a sort of prairie schooner. We lived in a tent with bare floor and no electricity, telephones, or water at one time. But always we had hope because people were kind. And I just really wanted to pay that forward. Okay, Ann, tell me about the feeling when, first of all, how long does it take to climb? How long did it take you to climb? We did eight days. It varies on the route. It can be from six to 10 days usually. Eight, up and down. Eight <laughs> days again, and we have Ann Lorimer. She is holding. She holds the world record for being the oldest female to have climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, and it takes that long to climb the mountain. Tell me about the feeling when you're halfway through it. It, it, it feels as if you're getting somewhere, but you wonder <laughs> if you'll ever get all the way up. That's true. The thing I liked best, though, were the stars that came down around us. They were brighter than anything I've ever seen. And we saw the Southern Cross, which you don't see from over here. It was just a wonderful feeling going up that mountain. So when you make it to the, to the top, the final step to the top, where you're like, okay, now I could rest for at least a longer period of time and stuff, and you're at the top, what is going through your mind? And talk to me in detail about that sensation. I'll have to disappoint you there, David. I was so tired when I got to the top that I couldn't feel the excitement. I only felt it later when I really what I'd actually done. I got a touch of hypothermia, and they had to make a human sandwich of me, and so I wasn't as well dressed as I should have been for the occasion, and lots of things went wrong. But I still got the publicity for the cause and some help for the kids. 
Uncredible. And you're listening to me. Now, I'm not the climber, but I am the host of the Alliances Hero Show. Make sure you go to alliances.com, E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. It is the only place where entrepreneurs align because we have Ann Lormer. She is the one, uh, the oldest woman to have climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, and you could reach her at creatingexcitingfutures.org. Now, why does she do this? To raise money for orphans, homeless, disadvantaged kids. That's right. So go to creatingexcitingfutures.org. In fact, Anne, you're part of the Alliances community. You're active at our roundtables, at our various events. You interact. People are always amazed uh, of what feat you've accomplished because we have many, you know, CEOs and founders of all of these various companies and that and startups. But you're doing something that nobody else is doing and not many people have even been able to accomplish when they have been able to. Talk to me about how it's uh, been for you to be part of the Alliances community. I think it's a wonderful thing. I see people who want to give back as well as run very successful businesses. And this has always appealed to me that you do need to make a difference in the world. And I think these people want to. And so it's it's been a real pleasure meeting them, interacting with them. Okay, Anne. Steal the thunder and tell me what you are doing right now and what you're training to do. I'm going to climb Kilimanjaro, the highest freestanding mountain in the world, next year at 89. And again, it's for the cause. I'm doing training with another Alliance person, Scott Marsh, who has the mind and body strengthening studio. So I'm doing that that I didn't do last time. And I'm training every day, hiking with my dog. And this is to become and set another world record, correct? And what is that world record for? This time I will be the oldest person to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. So once you make it, and I know you will make it, you will become and set a new record for being the oldest person to have climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, which most people can't even make it. I'd make it up about a quarter of the way, maybe a tenth of the way. Tell me about your photographer, videographer that went with you on the hike. I, I'm sorry, that was a little disappointing, oh. too, but I do have my nephew who did some very good pictures, and you can see them on Creating Exciting Futures yeah. and also the Facebook page, Creating Exciting Futures. And the thing is is that many people that went with you, that started with you, weren't able to make it and, and are much younger than you, but you trained for it. And I think, does it take a lot of the mindset to know that you can do it? That was very important to me. Failure was not an option. I had to do this to give the kids a hand up. Now, were there times you were thinking about, you know what, I, I just, I'd like to go home and, you know, just go grab McDonald's or something? I, I had one day when I think I had a touch of flu, and I felt a little, I said, why do people ever do this? And yet I knew I wouldn't stop. Now, here's what's really interesting. Again, we're talking with Ann Lormer of exciting, creatingexcitingfutures.org, creatingexcitingfutures.org, and you're listening to me, David Kogan, at Alliances. But, Ann, I need to ask you, you're a great-grandmother, and you're doing some amazing things. Tell me what you want to share with the youth that's out there. And those, um, you know, maybe you're giving a speech to a variety of different children from all different backgrounds, homeless ones that have homes across the board, um, what do you want to share with them of words of inspiration and some secrets? Say just do what's possible and then keep on until you accomplish the impossible and you can do it. Fantastic. Well, you certainly have created and been able to do the impossible. You're truly inspiring and we're all going with you as we climb Mount Kilimanjaro. We are? Yeah, we all are. That's right. Everybody here. We're going to have the whole Alliances community and we'll see. Rit that. You're a hero, Ann Lormer. Incredible things you're doing. Keep doing it. CreatingExcitingFutures.org. This is David Kogan with Alliances. <laughs>